My name's Eric Goodnow. I'm Jessica Goodnow. And we wanted to share with you our story about um, what we went through earlier this year. In February, um, my husband Eric had come home from work early and he had flu-like symptoms. I came home and he was um, very, very, very weak and was saying things that didn't make sense. So at that point, I realized that um, we needed to take some further action. So against Eric's will, <laughs> um, I ended up calling an ambulance uh, to take us to Oswego Hospital. It was very quickly realized by the staff at Oswego Hospital um, that something far more serious was going on. They all began working on Eric immediately um, and realized very quickly that his body had gone into septic shock. Dr. Surratt said that the best thing for Eric was ultimately going to be that he needed to get to Upstate Hospital um, where there would be some many different teams of doctors um, to work on him in the various areas um, that he needed to be worked on. I spent the, um, the next month and a half in the intensive care unit up at Upstate where I went through a new number of procedures and continued to discover what was wrong. After they had successfully diagnosed uh, the issue with sepsis at Oswego, that cascaded into a number of other problems. They found uh, pus in my stomach that had to be drained. Immediately following that procedure, they found necrotizing fasciitis, which is a very deadly skin disease that did occur. <laughs> that was life-threatening. At that point, they told me that they, they couldn't guarantee Eric's life to me. But I know that the work that Oswego Hospital did to prepare me and to do everything that they could prior to me being airlifted to Upstate uh, saved the doctors and surgeons uh, at the hospital uh, very important minutes and seconds, which when they're life-threatening uh, illnesses at play make all the difference between whether or not I was going to survive or not and I'm just so thankful to Dr. Surratt and all of his staff who uh, did everything that they possibly could to prepare me and uh, get me ready for surgery so the minute I arrived I could go in and get the, the care and the treatment that I needed. It's because God provided the people that we needed and it all started at Oswego Health. We're thankful now that you know, we're expe I'm expected to make a full recovery, and I'm, thanks to everything that Oswego Hospital did to make sure that I was safe and um, could recover as much as possible. Beyond that day, they continued to care and think about how Eric was doing, and that's not something that you get everywhere. And I think that we need to be, to not take for granted the, the health care that we have right in our community and how much they, they truly care about, uh, about their patients. They really gave me the opportunity to survive a very scary incident, something that you never planned for, but they were prepared for it and they were ready and, and because of their preparation and their expertise, I'm here today.